Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to add animation to selected objects in your presentation slides, you do that through the Animations tab within the ribbon. To animate a slide object, just click on the object in the slide to which you want to apply animation in order to select it. Then click on the desired type of animation to apply to the selected object from the animations shown in the Animation Group on the Animations tab within the ribbon. Also note that you can click the More button that appears in the lower right corner of the Animation Group to display a drop-down of the animations available. You could also click the Add Animation drop-down button in the Advanced Animation Group to display the same list. Now within this list, you can click the More Animation Category Effects commands that are shown at the bottom of the listing to display a separate dialog box of all of the available animation effects for that selected category of animation. You can then click on any one of the animation effects shown within the dialog box to preview the animation within the slide window. Note that the Preview Effect checkbox must be checked in order for the preview to appear in your slide window, however. Once you've selected a desired animation effect to apply, you can click the OK button. You can then click the Effect Options button within the Animation Group to set any desired variations for the selected animation. Now as you add animation to an object, the object will appear with a little number next to it within the slide, starting with number 1, to indicate its animation order. In order to set more advanced animation options, you should enable the display of the animation pane. You can click the Animation Pane button shown in the Advanced Animation Group to display the animation pane at the right side of the presentation window you will see any slide animations appear in the list of animations shown in the animation pane. If you click on an animation effect within this list, you will see the corresponding number within the slide turn an orange color, so you can tell to which slide object the selected animation is applied. You can click the Trigger drop-down button that appears in the Advanced Animation group to set the animation to occur on a mouse click of a specific slide object or a bookmark by making the desired choice. In the timing group, you can set the start property which determines when the selected animation should start. You can use the drop down to select either on click, with previous or after previous. You can use the Duration Spinner box in the Timing Group to set the duration of the selected animation. You can then use the Delay Spinner box in the Timing Group to set the amount of delay to occur before playing the selected animation. If you would like to change the order in which the animated effects occur, you can select the effect that is in the incorrect order, and then click the Move Earlier and Move Later arrow buttons in the Timing Group to reorder the slide animations. Now to see all of the available animation options that you have for any animation effect selected in the Animation Pane, click the drop-down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. In the drop-down menu of options that appears, Select the Effect Options command to open a separate dialog box of options that you can set for that particular effect. There are typically two or three tabs called Effect, Timing, and optionally Text Animation, or in this case Smart Art Animation. You can click on each tab to view the options that you can set and change any settings as needed. Your options will vary depending upon the type of slide object selected and the type of animation effect applied.
Now when you've finished reviewing and changing the settings for the selected animation effect, click the OK button to apply your new settings. If you wanted to delete a selected animation effect, just click on it within the list of animation effects shown in the animation pane, and then click the drop down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. From the drop down menu, click the remove command to delete the animation. At the top of the animation pane, you can click the play button to play the animation sequence in its entirety. You can also click the preview drop down button that appears in the preview group within the ribbon to do the same thing. If you would like to turn off the animation preview in the slide, you can click the checkbox for auto preview that appears in the preview buttons drop down menu to disable that feature. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.